Hi, this is Tom again from Duty.com, and I did a drawing today, and by the time I got done with it, I had a good idea, and so what I did was I did undo on every single one of the lines that I drew, all the way back to this point here, and I couldn't undo anymore. I probably did like a hundred undos. So, now I'm going to go forward. You'll see each chunk that I drew and each chunk that I undid. So I drew this guy, obviously, big tongue sticking out. And I had no idea. That's usually the way I start out, and that's what I want to show you most of all, is that I really don't know what I'm going to do next when I start off these kinds of drawings. So I drew the thumb, then I made a little space, I erased so the thumb would be connected, and then I'd realized maybe I'd draw a giant, uh, uh, looks like a giant uh, ice cream cone. Why? I don't know, but that's what I decided to do. So then I keep going with it. I drew it in a different color so that it's easy to then get rid of his green lines of his tongue. And I changed around the thumb here. You can see I start to just mess around with the thumb a little bit. So now here the thumb looks a little bit like it's wrapping around. Clean up the fingers a little bit. And again, I like things to look loose and uh, rough, but I also like to clean them up a little bit. Good color for ice cream, right? Eh, not a bad color for the cone. A lot of times I like to change the color of the outsides of things to match a little bit of what the thing is. So if the cone is going to be a, a light sort of a beige color, make the outside of the cone a similar color but a little darker. A little bit of work on the body and the arms. And again, this kind of thing, I just go ahead and play and I have the legs be crazy looking. I can change those toes later or not. I like the idea of a loose looking cartoon, so I went ahead and put little pants on them, and then only at this point did I decide, well, I'll stick with green, since the outside of him is green. Literally, sometimes that'll determine where a drawing goes, is something as simple as that. Oh, I already chose green for his outside line? Well, I guess I'll make, I'll make his entire motif green. I, I tried a few different colors for the pants there. And only at this point did I say, ah, maybe I will make him an alien, since he's green. And then I thought to myself it would be fun to draw him maybe sitting on the counter of a diner, and I could draw behind him a, uh, I could draw, uh, you know, a napkin holder and stuff like that. But then suddenly occurred to me, why not change the, uh, let me see if I have anything else here drawn. I made a little bit of difference in the eyes. Oh, and then I changed his toes here, too. I forgot that I added different toes. And it looks like that's all the drawings that I did. So now I'm actually going to draw live, and I'm going to show you this last idea that I had for the actual ice cream. So if he's an alien, right, and if he's visiting our planet, and if he's eating ice cream, I thought, well, why not make it sort of like an Earth-shaped ice cream? so that I'm going to use a tool here where you paint inside. So when I paint inside like that, it'll only paint inside the blue. I hope that makes sense. So then I decided, well, why not have the ice cream be like Earth ice cream? And I can go ahead and draw, and I'll do that for you now. You'll see me draw it live. There's the Baja of California. There's Mexico and all that. And then there's the, uh, the uh, South America go down like this, and the Gulf of whatever, and the... Florida, and then all the way up to Canada and Greenland and all that. I'll leave a little bit of room for the Great Lakes. This is how I do a, I'll try one more version of that, sorry. This is how I make my quick United States look. And after a while, it begins to take form and take shape. So I'm not really happy with the way the America looks there in Canada, so I'm going to sort of do a little changing around here. And I might even change around the whole top of it. Why not, right? Now that I've gotten my idea and I'm feeling pretty good about this, see, so change it. Change it so that it, to fit the idea. First I start drawing, then I get the idea, then I change it. So now I've got a nice round top, the way a globe might look, and I can go ahead and I can add the other countries, and I just do a little hint of Europe here, maybe a little hint of Ireland and England, and then a little hint of the beginning of France. Whoops, didn't do the paint inside option. See a little hint there of Europe, maybe a little more of Europe, maybe down to... What is that? Uh, Portugal, Spain. Portugal's on the left there, Spain. Then some Africa here. Boom. Africa flavored ice cream. Bam. Then over here, maybe a little bit of a Hawaii. 
and maybe a tiny little bit to hint about Japan and stuff. I'm using flash and here I'll do what they call the paint behind option. Paint behind to make the outer edge easy for me to draw. Again, a lot of rough edges, I don't care. It's just a fun, quick cartoon. And I can even go ahead and put a little bit of action splatter on the on the edge of the planet there. So there we have it, an alien devouring the planet Earth in the form of an ice cream cone. 30 wonderful flavors. Earth, orbit flavored. I'm gonna paint inside his little shorts here and give him, right, why not? Polka dotted space shorts. And again, when you use the paint behind option, you see how nicely that goes behind the green line? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. I have a thing in my drawings which I call the star. And the star of this drawing is the Earth and the patterns on the Earth and the planet. When I look at this now, the pants actually take away, in my opinion, from the activity going on in the Earth drawing. So either I would lighten up the spots or completely take them away. That being said, I'm just gonna try taking them away. I like it better without the spots. And these are the kinds of choices that I make, I have to make, I go ahead with a drawing, I do something, and then I take away, and then I add. And that's the process I go through. And if you're drawing too, you can do that too. You can change your mind. You can go in a particular direction, and especially with computers. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Behind him, I'm going to draw some ground. Now this could be like space ground, or another planet ground. See how I'm making a choice right here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving it around, and I'm looking to see what works best. So I'm trying to find a place where the land doesn't cut across his toes or his elbow. You don't want the land to do something like this. You see the way it's right on his toe there? You don't want the land to come on the end of the ice cream cone because now it looks like the ice cream cone could be sitting on top of the edge of the world. Got to think about these things. It's called composition. I don't know where you're at with your drawing abilities, but this is called composition, where to make the choice to put the edge of the earth. I'm going to choose somewhere right around here. The... Earth is already blue, so we could change the, the style of the blue, or we could just go ahead and make a some kind of a color, a less yellow, and then if I were to make it this yellow here, I could then actually make a, just to show his alien landscape. Signature, thanks for watching, and I'll make another one of these soon. Take care.